Next stop, change. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about change that is occurring now in this season. Today is September the 17th. 17 is the number of victory almost at September the 18th. I'll post, well, actually, it's 12 o'clock. So it's September the uh, 18th. We're talking about change. In a few days, September the 29th to September, I'm sorry, September the 29th to October the 1st, you're going to enter into uh, the Jewish New Year of 5778. You might want to say, why is the Jewish um, year important? It is important because um, as Israel is the uh, physical Jews, we are the spiritual Jews, and it is also important because Right now, even in my life as I speak, there is a lot of things that have been coming to an end, completion. Seven is the number of completion. And this year I got divorced. And not only did I get divorced, but uh, there was a lot of stuff that God was dealing with me on. Like I had to get rid of, I had to get rid of like everything that my ex-husband had given me. It was to a point that, you know, everything, some of the things that I was attached to, you know, just attached. I probably wasn't attached to my ex-husband as I was to, you know, some of the things, but I had to, I had to get rid of it as God, you know, began to deal with me. He said, um, get rid of them. And so I did. I had to get rid of the wedding dress. I paid. The wedding dress was $600, and the skirt to wear under the wedding dress was $100, so I had to get rid of the wedding dress. I dumped it in the trash. That was $600. The skirt was at $100. That was $700. And there was also a lot of things, too, that I'm not going to say that I had to, I had to get rid of, and... As I as I got rid of those things, because God was saying, in order for you to get what is new, you have to let go of the old. And a lot of people, sometimes why they don't get what God has for them, it's not that God doesn't want to give it to them, but they're still they're still holding on. You know, you 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 cannot get what God has for you if you keep on holding on to things of the past. You know, God wants to bless you. But he he cannot bless you and he cannot give you the things them that you design you need because you're still holding on. Like me, I was holding on to the wedding dress and I was holding on to a lot of stuff, but I had to get rid of it. For some people it might be they might be holding on to the memories of the past, you know, and you may think that God you know, God is not going to give you somebody. Maybe, maybe you were in a relationship with a person that treated you really good. And for whatever happens, maybe the person died. Maybe the person left you. You know. But I'm here to tell someone tonight that God can do exceedingly abundantly above the, all that we can ask or think. You know, as we're coming, as things are coming to an end completion. For me, it wasn't so much of a hard year in as you know the divorce because my husband left me two years ago so you know he was already when he left he was already living with someone so it is what it is so that that was not a problem for me but the divorce you know you might say oh you know you you don't feel it you know it's not going to bother you even though the person but you know when you standing before that judge and all those things, you feel it. You 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 feel. But I think I thank God, because I know that God is gonna. The Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts, the canker worm, and the palmer worm had eaten. So I know that God is gonna restore the years them that I have lost. Not only that, God is gonna restore. That God is gonna give me um, better than I had before. You know, like the Bible said, he gave Job twice as much as he had before. You know, Job, Job, Job lost 10 children and God gave him back 10 children. And what he gave him back, I'm sorry, God gave back Job 10 children. But everything else that God gave him, he had double. If he had five, he got 10. But the children, he got back the same amount. So God 
is able to give you back the things that you have lost and he's able to give you back better. Even the Bible says in Job that the daughters that he had, none of the um the women in the land were as beautiful as his daughters. They were they were some they were like beauty queens. They were very uh beautiful. So in this season, you know, as things is coming to an end, as we're seeing the wrapping up of things in our lives, what it be for me, it was a change because I got divorced. For you, you could see, like, there's changes. There's things that are coming to an end. Relationships, you know, coming to an end. But I'm here to say to someone, don't, don't, you know, you're going to feel, you're going to feel some type of way. Feel whatever way you have to feel. But when you're finished feeling whatever you it, it is that you have to feel, pick yourself up and move on. Because God is about to give you a new beginning. And that's what that's what I'm hoping for. A new beginning. I'm hoping to see that a uh, come to pass in my life. At the end of um, October the 1st, I'm expecting in my life to see a new beginning in my life. Not only in my life, but in all the circumstances. I, I cannot tell you the things them, that I've been through. Especially from September the 4th until now. The things that I have had, oh my gosh, it is so much. Demonic attack, oh my Lord. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to sit on and say, what did I do that I did not do, you know, to... Yes, I was saying that. What did I do to cause? You know, it was like demonic attack after demonic attack, demonic attack, demonic attack. And I know that when the enemy is fighting you and he's coming at you, you know, so, you know, so severe that there is something that he's trying to prevent you from getting it. So before the breakthrough comes, he will like to, well, he can because God has the final saying, but he'll just like to maybe, you know, He's just one, like the Bible says, the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But God says that he has come that we might have life and life more abundantly. So I know in this season that the enemy uh, is fighting and I've been getting constantly demonic attack after demonic attack because I know uh, this season is about to come to an end. As, as the natural season is going to change to in a few days. So is the um the dry season, the drought, you know, whatever you've been going through, even in my own life, I've been through a lot of this year, like I said, and in September, from September the 4th, it was just like every day, something, something just keep getting bad news after bad news after bad news. But the Bible says that they shall fight, but they shall not prevail against you. So even though people might be coming against you in this time, they will not prevail. You know, the Bible says they shall fight, but they shall not prevail. It doesn't say he's not going to stop them from fighting, but they're not going to prevail. The plans, the thoughts, the actions, them that they want to do, it's not going to come to fruition. And even in my own life, like I said, there's so much from September to the 4th, you know, until now I'm trying to figure out, like, but I know what I did. God was telling me that it's time for me to level up. And I'm like, what can I do in my personal life to level up? And I just, I'm not going to say what it is, but I just made a move. And boy, let me tell you, when I made that move, everything was just, smooth <laughs> i guess the enemy said i'm gonna just let you i'm just gonna let you enjoy yourself for a few days and boy oh boy when i finished doing what i was doing when i was finished attack 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 i'm like lord jesus and i'm like you know i'm, I'm trying to like well, what did I do that I, you know, because my life is, is I pretty much do the same thing consistently. But I remember God told me to level up and me leveling up was that I did something that I've never, you know, done before. I came out of my element and I tr stretched myself and in stretching myself, in stretching myself, I learned that um, the enemy doesn't want, 
you know, he doesn't want you to succeed. He doesn't want you to prosper. And, you know, also the people that sometimes around you don't want you. People would like to see you do good, but they don't want to see you do better than them. You know, and even as I um, stretch myself. And I, I did stuff that I probably would never had had, like, maybe the courage or the guts to do. And after I was finished doing what I did, you know, the attack, 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 attack. But it was good for me to stretch myself. It was good for me to, you know, step out. Like God was telling me, it's time for you to level up. It's time for you to stretch yourself. It's time for you to move to another level. And that's what I did. I leveled up. And with me leveling up, it was, oh my gosh, the, 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 the attack was so much. It was so much. It was so much. But I thank God because God says they shall fight, but they will not prevail. And I'm here to tell you, even though the enemy fought against me, people came, they said lies. I got letters saying to cease and desist lies. I'm here to tell you that all those things did not prevail against me because I know who I believe in and I know in whom I serve. And the Bible says in Psalms 121 verses 1, I lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. And God taught me a long time ago that my help surely does come from God. So I was not I was not afraid of what was going to happen to me because I know in whom my help comes. But I just want to say once more, uh, this is a season of transitioning in my life as well as if you hear this in your life too. It's a season of change. Don't fight, don't fight the change because what I've been noticing, not even in, not so much in my life, Maybe in my life too. But when God begins to move, because we don't understand what's going on, we fight it. Because he doesn't show you. Sometimes he tells you to go. But he doesn't tell you when you're going, all the obstacles that you're going to go. The people them that are going to come against you. And all the things them that are going to happen. He just say go. And you get up and go. But there's so much opposition. It doesn't mean that God didn't tell you go. It doesn't mean that God is not in it because there's so much opposition. It just means that the enemy doesn't want you to get wherever God wants you to go. So he fights you. But in this season, know that God is still on the throne and all is well. And we will get that new beginning. We will get the stuff that the enemy has. Let me tell you, God has promised me something since I was 20. I'm trying to pinpoint my age. I was 20. Hmm. I'm going to say 24, maybe 23. Definitely not the age of 25. So I'm going to say around 23 and 24. I believe in October, the ending of October, maybe November, that I'm about to see the fruition of something that God promised me almost 15, 16 years ago. But I know that the enemy is fighting, but I know that greater is in me than he that is in the world. And I know that I know that I know that I shall, you shall get the new beginning. You shall get the things that God has promised you that the enemy, sometimes the enemy cannot deny, but he can delay. Yes, he can delay. And how can he delay? Say, for instance, you're supposed to get a a job promotion and you know it is your turn but what the enemy does that he delays it he delays it and he delays it and you know everyone knows also you know that next week you're supposed to get a promotion but the enemy delays it delays it and sometimes you feel so discouraged that you give up and guess what when you give up that's when the breakthrough happened, but because you know you already done gave up, so then you done quit the job because you know you was slated and saying um today is Wednesday, so you know that uh Tuesday you were supposed to get a promotion, a, a, a increase in pay. You were supposed to get, and you know it. Everyone knows it, and then come what day did I say Tuesday? You didn't get it. So you not only did um you got frustrated, you felt embarrassed, and everybody like looking at you like what happened? Because we know this was coming, and then what happened? You get upset and you leave the job.
So the the enemy wins because what happened? He couldn't he he couldn't deny you, but he could delay. It. And then when you and then when when it's delayed, you know we get we're human beings. Sometimes people are not real. You get frustrated and you just throw in the towel because you know you know you work your heart and your soul out on that job, and you know they said. Next week, we're going to give you a, a raise, a pay, a promotion. And next he came and nothing happened. Not only did nothing happen, nobody said nothing. And you just felt discouraged and you threw in the towel. So that's why it is important in this time and season that you have to fast and you have to pray to make sure that you get what is yours, what is mine must be mine and it must come to me in this time and season. So... In this time of season, we need to pray and we need to thank God for releasing what belongs to us. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you this evening, God, and we just want to thank you, God, for breaking, God, for breaking curses, God, for breaking hexes, vexes, and spell. We thank you, God, that what the enemy has held up, that he will release it, God. And we thank you uh, most of all, Lord God, for giving us in this season a new beginning, God, a new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning. You said, behold, I set before you an open door which no man can close. We thank you, God for opening doors for us, God. We thank you, God, for breaking, God, financial curses, generational curses, inherited curses. We thank you, God, for doing above and beyond our expectation. And most of all, Lord God, we thank you in this season for giving us what is ours, must be ours, must come to us in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, for breaking, and we thank you, God, for giving us what belongs to us, God. What belongs to us must come to us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.